We are in Baton Rouge today, first week of January, and uh, I'm in the downtown area, or near it. It's really very nice down here, and I gotta tell you, cannot beat the weather. This is, uh, I don't know, January 5th or 6th, and it's like mid-60s at 10 in the morning. So, anyway, I'm gonna go check out the downtown area. Pretty close to it now. That building you see there looks like a castle. Is their old Capitol building? We're going to visit that later. But I'm a uh, at a long park which straddles the Mississippi River right up here. I'm going to go up here in just a second. And uh, it, it's I really like it. I was a little bit nervous about Baton Rouge. You hear about the crime and stuff, but I haven't seen anything to deserve that reputation. Of course, I'm just getting started with the exploration of the city, specifically the downtown area, so who knows what I'll see before it's all over. Anyway, I'm gonna climb these stairs real quick. And there it is, the mighty Mississippi River. So this park just straddles the city, downtown, and uh, out of downtown. And of course this is an old warship, the USS Kidd, that is actually a museum now. I'm surprised that <laughs> I can just walk down these steps and go right up to the ship. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Well, I'm right up on the uh, USS Kidd now. It's named after um, Rear Admiral Jason, or Isaac, I'm sorry, Isaac Kidd, who was on the Arizona during the attack on Pearl Harbor. And he was the first officer to die in World War II. So he got a ship named after him. And like I said, it's a museum now I'm I'm enjoying just walking alongside the bottom of the ship or the side of the ship right here on the Mississippi River I am right on the banks of the Mississippi you know all my life I don't think I've ever touched my toe into the river <laughs> but um, I don't know I'm not gonna do it now I'm gonna take these boots off but there's the kid right there. And of course some port ships or cargo ships over there. 
and it's pretty awesome. There is a, I'm gonna zoom in a little. I'm gonna guess that's a riverboat gambling ship, or boat. And of course you can see the Capitol building popping up right there, right in the middle of the frame. The US, or I'm sorry, the Louisiana State Capitol building, which we're gonna go to later today. It is the tallest Capitol building in the US and supposedly quite beautiful to see. So, we will be heading up there shortly, or before the day is up. At the moment, I'm out on a big uh, platform where you get a really good view of the Mississippi River, <laughs> and of course, the downtown, and, of course, and that is the old Capitol building again. Looks like a castle. But uh, I'm trapped here, because well, you heard that. My car is on the other side of that train. <laughs> My car is on the other side of that train. And it looks like a long one. And it's going really slow. Let me zoom in on it. Yeah. You can see the train is moving very slowly. And um, the Bronco's on the other side. I might be here a while. Yeah, it's a pretty good view up here though. Baton Rouge is one of the deepest ports along the Mississippi River. So it can handle, as you can see, these large container ships. Well, I came over to where the train is. You can see it there. <laughs> Turns out I don't have to wait. How nice of the city to build a walkway over. So I can indeed Explore Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge. <laughs> Baton Rouge means red stick in French. And uh, yeah, I'm right over the train now. Cool, huh? Um, it got that name because in the, what, the early 1700s when the French were here, <coughs> they were a uh, scouting trip was heading up the Mississippi and they encountered a pole painted red decorated whew, it's loud decorated with the say, skeletons of fish and what it was was the boundary between two Indian tribes so the French of course called it a red stick and this town grew up around that red stick and of course this, the name of the city is Baton Rouge Baton Rouge. Is that the way you have to say it in Cajun? <laughs> Man, I don't think I've been this close to a train maybe since I was a kid. <laughs> I, can, I could almost reach out and touch it. But of course, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. All right, I am heading into downtown. I'm going to stop and park here pretty soon, but uh, as soon as I can find a good place. It's real nice here. Baton Rouge, of course, is the capital of Louisiana. Second largest cities, or second largest city. Um, it's got a metro of almost a million, so it's pretty decent sized. It's not a tiny city. And when we came in last night, we got into quite a bit of traffic, I'm not gonna lie. Old historic city, been around for over, over 300 years. And looks like there's lots of restaurants, bars, that kind of thing down here. All right, so kind of in the heart of downtown, uh, Capitol buildings up here to the right. Wife and I will be going down there later. Baton Rouge is home to LSU, one of the powers in college football, and they are the LSU Tigers. I know that Mike the Tiger, of course their mascot, a real live Bengal Tiger, lives down here somewhere. I'm going to try to find him pretty quickly here, because apparently you can just go 
uh, go to his, not really a cage, his habitat, and uh, see him. Now there's the Capitol building, right there, built in 1931. I want to say it was the tallest building west of the Mississippi at the time, or pretty close anyway. Even now it's pretty tall, it's still the tallest building in the city. So um, anyway. I'm gonna park and uh, go check things out. I'm in the heart of downtown Baton Rouge right now, and uh, it's pretty quiet. Not many people walking around. You can see some homeless people across the street. Uh, this church is really beautiful. Uh, what is it? St. Joseph Cathedral, built in 1853. How about that? So this building's been set in here, geez, 170 years, something like that. And it looks in perfect shape. Anyway, this is a main drag going through Baton Rouge. You can see the Capitol right there. And the street, this is 10.30 in the morning on a Wednesday, it's pretty quiet. <laughs> Not a lot of people here. Here near the Capitol is the Gros de Vol Plaza and on all four corners it looks like this, almost like a little mini park. Uh, they were built in 1809 and were designed as a place for uh, people to park their wagons so they can unload them. So <laughs> that's pretty nifty that they've kept it like that. All right, I'm seeing the first mural here downtown. Kind of looks like Mother Justice, I'm guessing, as a warrior. I'm guessing that's what it is. If anybody knows, let me, uh, tell me in the comment section, but yeah, I'm deep in downtown, and while nice, it is the dead zone. Look at the street. I mean, this is obviously a major, a major intersection in downtown, and there ain't no folks here. <laughs> I mean, I can walk right out on the street. Oh, there's a couple cars. Anyway, I can walk right out here on the street. And, of course, there's the Capitol building way in the distance. And uh, there's nothing going on. Spotted another mural uh, painted on the Mentorship Academy. It looks pretty cool. And I'm on Florida Street right now. While there's not much traffic down here, and maybe on the weekends that changes, uh, Baton Rouge Downtown Greenway, they really, or the city has really made the downtown beautiful. This is a greenway that goes through it. I mean, it's really nice. Now across the street here is the old governor's mansion, it says. So I guess there's a different, newer governor's mansion somewhere else, but that's real nice. That's stately old building, huh? I think you can go inside and see. I'm not sure if we're gonna do that. All right, well, I am at the town square. Bit of an inter entertainment district, lots of restaurants lining the area, and of course, this is a library with some state of the art uh, architecture. And I'm looking around here, 
Ooh. I don't know what this is. It looks like a stage. I think that's exactly what it is. It's pretty cool looking. And of course now I'm right behind the old Capitol building. I was on the other side of it earlier today. So I guess I've walked pretty far. I'll zoom in on this statue. That's pretty cool. Anyway, we've got music playing here. <laughs> They got some outside speakers. It sounds like elevator music. Very calming. I don't know if you can hear it, probably barely. Now I had read before coming here that Baton Rouge is high in crime and and dangerous, but I'm not gonna lie, I felt pretty safe the whole time. A lot of police everywhere. There's a little bit of that classic Southern Louisiana architecture. I'm not seeing it as much as I thought I would here in Baton Rouge, but I are seeing it in spots. Wow, look at that guy up there all by himself washing those windows. And this is a big building. I mean, I'm gonna zoom out. <laughs> look at all those windows. That's gotta be a huge job. I'm sure he makes the big money though. I don't think I could do it. What do you guys think? Could you do it? <laughs> I don't know if I could. Now I'm just outside the Capitol building in the Spanish Town neighborhood. At the next lights, turn right. Thank you for that, Siri. And it's pretty nice. Very narrow streets really old houses but they're well kept well taken care of some of them are pretty big like that one there grand old house and wow that's interesting that porch is really interesting to look, uh, to look at and look here they got a Look at this old grocery store. Very old. In the neighborhood. Yeah. I love old neighborhoods like this. Really well lived in. You know, a lot of greenery. It's pretty awesome. All right, Siri, I'm gonna turn right at the light. Well, I'm a few blocks out of downtown now. And... <laughs> wow. Let's hope nobody lives in that. Old shotgun house. I'm on my way to see Mike the Tiger. Um, yeah, it's some pretty rough, pretty rough houses here. This is definitely an area though that has gone through some neglect. Yeah, I'm about a half a mile out of downtown Baton Rouge. Like a lot of cities, I guess. Very poor lives near the downtowns. Thrift store there. Wow. It's a nice blue house. Okay, I'm continuing my journey to see Mike the Cat and, or Mike the Tiger. I'm literally maybe a mile from those really terrible looking neighborhoods and now into extremely beautiful. 
I mean, it's crazy how it changed so fast. These big houses. You can see that one right there on the lake. On this little, uh, we got a little bit of a lake here. Hmm. Right here, a couple miles out of downtown Baton Rouge. I'm nearing uh, LSU, by the way, Louisiana State University. I'm on the campus of Louisiana State University now. Looks really beautiful and grand, as you would expect. And of course, there's an LSU sign. Some more LSU. This is the LSU Law Center. Turn left onto Veterans Drive. They gotcha, Siri. Gotcha. Drive. Really beautiful campus. All right, I'm finally here. I'm at Mike the Cat's Habitat. That's it right there. I'm across the street from LSU's stadium, Tiger Stadium. But uh, I'm gonna see if I can see this tiger. It's a Bengal tiger, the mascot. He's got himself a nice little habitat here. I don't see him. It's a beautiful day. It's like 70 degrees here in uh, Baton Rouge. The habitat looks really nice, but I don't see the cat. <laughs> Hope I didn't come all the way over here for nothing. Nice little waterfall. He's in the corner here. You can see him here. He's clearly asleep. But there he is. Mike the Tiger. Oh, come on, focus. There we go. Mike the Tiger, the LSU mascot. Cool. Well, I can cross that off my list. Well, I am one block off LSU, and this is the neighborhood. I just You're just shocked to see this. This close to a major university. Anyway, I'm heading back to the hotel, and this is the route that Siri has put me on. That's some really cool graffiti on that building. Huh. Wow, look at the Lots of graffiti on these. It looks really cool. Uh, look at that place. Uh, I just... You know, you, you're surprised to see this, this close to it a huge wealthy university you know I don't know what to say old style shotgun houses you see that a lot down here I mean I'm literally walking distance to uh, LSU from here Whew. I mean is anybody living that let's hope not no, there's no way. It's just in a, the house is disintegrating. Wow. All right, well, I'm going to get on the freeway and head to the hotel. In a quarter of a mile, keep and, and then we are going to go to the Capitol. We are at the state capitol of Louisiana right now. This guy's in the uh, grounds up front, Huey Pierce Long. I believe, if my mer uh, memory serves me correctly, he was the governor in the early 1930s that spearheaded the construction of this Capitol building. The tallest in the country. Which kind of reminds me of the tower at UT. <laughs> it reminds you of the tower at what, UT? Mm -hmm. You know, it kind of reminds me of the building in downtown Philadelphia a little bit, too. 
Well, yeah, but it doesn't have all this stuff surrounding it, so. I know, but it's still kind of the shaped thing. But anyway, we are uh, gonna go in there right now. Well, we are at the very bottom steps of the building now. Huh. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, are you certain we can get in this way? We're, yeah, well, let's hope so. It's just got normal doors, though, that kind of surprises me. Usually when you go in these Capitol buildings, they have these huge doors. These doors just like uh, look like normal doors, don't they? What did they say? <laughs> uh, are you sure we're allowed up here? I don't know, but these statues on each side were really cool looking, aren't they? Here, let me get a little zoom in on that. Yeah, and then there's one on the other side here. Huh. Anyway, let's head up. Now that I'm up here, can see that they do not open. <laughs> so this is not the way in. All right, so this is the front entrance to the Louisiana Capitol. And we're not getting in this way. Nice view of downtown Baton Rouge from here, though. And the wife down there checking out all the states. We're not going in these doors. All right, well, I'm at a side entrance. House of Representatives. Door is temporarily inaccessible. Well, not getting in that way. Well, okay, maybe it's down there. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there's some doors there. All right, so we're going to go see if this is the way to get inside. Visitors and property are subject to search. Oh, this is it. I'm sorry. Well, we're inside. We can only go to the first and second floor. There's an observation deck on the 27th floor, but it's closed because of COVID, as usual. So we'll just look around here a little bit. All right, so. Here we are still on the first floor. It's not, it's not brightly lit down here. <laughs> this is an unusual looking Capitol building. I've never seen a bulletin board. <laughs> and these doors, wow, like gold, metal. Huh? I didn't hear you. All right, Senate committee rooms. I don't guess we're allowed in there. All right, you need to go up on the next floor then. How about this? You need, you need to call somebody? <laughs> I, it's been 20 years since I've seen one of those. Aren't these the elevators here? Yeah, but it's just these, these use stairs, the first floor, so. Okay. So we're not allowed to use the elevator. We have to use the stairs. Because we're the help, I guess. <laughs> so the stairwell. It's okay. I mean, it's a workout since our hotel had a defunct gym. Oh, I don't need to work out. Well, now this is kind of beautiful. Whoa. Who is that? All of a sudden, it got really beautiful. Look at this. Grand room. Amazing. Huge light fixture. Oh, wow. Huh? This is like yeah, a... Down. This looks like a royal room in a, a palace in England or something. Doesn't it? It's probably right there. You get your stamp. Look at that. I want to back up here. This is an amazing room. Hmm. Page 
So the wife is getting her passport stamped. <laughs> her oh, yeah. Capital step. Got a sticker in there from Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> right. Another stamp. Thank <laughs> you. It's a grand room, but there's a bunch of stuff piled up, like in the corners and stuff. Oh. Like they just had a wild party or something. Bienville. Must be a French guy. Huh. Whoa. I think that chick is topless in that picture. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> wow. How about that? A little racy here in the uh, Capitol building. A little bit racy. Got a door. All right. Nobody's working today. All visitors subject to weapons check before entering house chamber. Well, I would hope so. <laughs> oh, this is the house. I was a little bit worried about Louisiana for a minute, but the building is beautiful, at least what we can see of it. And this is it. This is all we're allowed to see. Boo! We have a, a, a deck on the 27th floor that we're supposed to be able to go to, but it's closed. I think I already said that. Well, here we are on the outside of the old state capitol. A historic building built in 1850. Uh, and it would be so cool if we could go inside, but no. We'll reopen Tuesday, January 18th. So, uh, we don't get to see it. All right, we are done in Baton Rouge, heading to New Orleans next. Here is our review of the hotel. We stayed in probably a hotel that is in probably our, fr our favorite chain. Not it, is our favorite. it is our favorite chain. It is chain. our favorite chain. We stayed at a Drury. They, I mean, for the the mid uh, uh, luxury segment, easily, hands down, the best hotel chain. What do we think of this one in Baton Rouge, Louisiana? You first. Compared to other juries, definitely, definitely, definitely. I mean, compared to other other chain hotels, I mean, it was okay. It's pretty good, you know, especially since you get the cocktails and the food in the evening, mm -hmm. and the breakfast is good because it's fresh made. So that stuff is all in its positive. However, now, okay, the gym was closed down. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say they're a terrible place just because of that, because um, it, I think it was something beyond their control. They had some kind of fire, and all the sprinklers went off on that side of the building, and they're still drying it out. So, okay, I could see that. However, then you add on top of it the fact that the jets on the hot tub do not work and have not worked for a while, which means it's not a priority, obviously. That would never fly in the rest of the juries, what, the other five juries we've been to? You know, that just would not fly there. You know, that's ridiculous. Why not fix it? People are expecting a hot, they're expecting a, a hot tub, a jacuzzi. Those have jets, you know? Not just warm water. So that's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. So, but it's clean and like I said, it has the food and the fresh food in the morning and pretty good food at night with the cocktails. So that's always a plus, not a lot of other places. The only other place that we know of that gives you cocktails at night is Embassy Suites. Yeah, but they're a lot more expensive usually. Yeah, I really saved them there were once. I liked it. <laughs> I had great breakfast, but anyway, we're not talking about Embassy, I'm sorry. So, 
yeah anyway go ahead how about you yeah i mean the, the, the this is the thing with jury they're consistent you go to one jury and you go to an, uh, another one they're all the same except for this one a little bit i mean this one had clean rooms you know uh good food you know, they give you breakfast, they give you dinner at night with three free alcoholic drinks. And it's always fresh. It's not some microwave Fresh crap. food. We had mashed potatoes with meatballs and gravy and they had hot dogs like and salad and baked potatoes and all kinds of steamed vegetables. Yeah. For dinner tonight, I forgot to bring my camera, I was going to film it, I forgot <laughs> to bring it. But like she says, uh, other juries I don't think for a second would let their gym stay closed or for that matter not repair their hot tub for a long period of time yeah so for this one to not take care of business it's unusual for juries so a bit of a disappointment yes so what's your rating well it's hard for me because my expectations for a jury are always way up here mm -hmm. so i don't know i'm gonna have to give it a 3.8 however had it not had the name jury on it i may have gone a little higher so i can't yeah. say <laughs> i can't you know reconcile that in my brain so i'm giving it a 3.8 that's the best i can do as far as being fair i mean the last jury you're in i would give five out of five it's the one yes, in richardson and we just Texas. left there we spent two perfect. weeks there we love it it's perfect and this one's the same price it doesn't have as much nice stuff i'll give it a 4.2 though yeah all right, like I said, we're going to New Orleans next, so be looking for that video. I've never been to New Orleans. Yay! See you then.